welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title i'm going to show you guys how i sew down my wigs i always do closure wigs they're the most easy out of all wigs like i cannot with frontals because it's just way too high maintenance so i have in my tanache hair and my braid down pattern you guys is not the best like i said in my previous video but this is 18 inches of body wave i believe the closure is um 16 or 14 but i have three bundles in and if you guys saw my last video where i showed you guys my new sewing technique um this is how i get it as flat as possible even considering the fact that my braid down is not like super duper flat um because i'm not a professional braider but you know anyway um I really like how this unit came out. The only thing I can really say about it is I'm not a fan of the part. I feel like the part was way too perfect. I have a phobia of when the parts are like way too straight, if that makes sense. It's straight to the point where there's no like hairs in the part, if that makes sense. Like if you guys know what the closure looks like, you know that you can see little knots of where the hair strands is. It's just completely clear and just straight lace in the middle. And I mean, from here, it's okay you know but like up close to me it just looks so unrealistic it just looks like boom that's a wig but you know it's still cute um i love the hair the hair is very soft and for this wig i did double the webs so let me show you guys what it looks like when i take this bad boy off okay bam this is what i have under the wig you guys so i do have an elastic band on and it's just so easy putting an elastic band on a wig it makes it like night and day when it comes to a wig it makes it lay down flat um it also makes it like an everyday wig if you just want to take your wig on and off at night um, um you can also use clips in your wigs i haven't done that really um I just usually sew them down. I don't really wear my wigs like every single day, if that makes sense. Like I'll wear it for like three or four days and then just go back to my real hair. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I sew it down. So of course with the elastic band, I sew it from closure tab to closure tab. And in the inside right here, I take my powder foundation and I rub and dab that all the way in. You can kind of see like a line right here. I took some um, concealer to just kind of define the part a little bit more. So yeah, I'm also going to show you guys in a separate video tips and tricks of what I do to make the wig look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to take the elastic band, put it around my ear, in the back of my head. I also have adjustable tabs right here where I tighten it up. And I'm just going to flip it on like so. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is pretty much adjust it onto my head, get it on how I want it to sit. Takes a few seconds. And I hate when people's wigs are literally like sitting on their hair like that. Like, please, 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 line it up, line it up. This is why I always go for middle parts. Middle parts are just the easiest. All right. So now that I have it kind of placed on my head how I would like it, I'm going to show you guys how I sew it down. Now, sewing it down is so easy. I'm also going to show you how I take it off as well. So we are going to take the thread. I use the same thread in this wig. I also forgot to mention that I did double the webs if I didn't say that before using the same technique that I showed in the previous video of me making a wig. And I do cut the tracks. Now, as far as shedding, I don't get any shedding. And that's considering the fact that I do cut my wefts. So, I'm going to take some string. You don't want it to be too long because you're really not going to use that much. But you want it to be long enough to where you can make a knot. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as I'm sewing it down. So, I'm going to thread the needle. All right. So now that I have my needle threaded, I'm going to come a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I do um, go ahead and put like edge control on just to kind of like have my edges back until I have it sewn down and then I'll just kind of go through and do my edges again. So I'm going to start right here. I never start up there. I mean, I just feel like it's unnecessary to do that. So I'm gonna take the needle. And I'm going to feel for that anchor braid. That is why I always have two braids going down the side like so. So starting right here at the end of the closure, I'm going to kind of feel for that braid. 
going to don't want to poke yourself so once I do that I'm gonna open this string up have the needle through it and this is just how I'm going to attach it to my head and when I'm doing this I'm kind of like pulling it so it can like you know be in place as I'm sewing it down you don't want to do it too tight and make it uncomfortable but you do want it to be on there pretty taut so now that you can kind of see where that elastic band is sitting you want to like go through that as well and then I just loop it through and again filling for that anchor braid opening up that and pulling the string through and doing this kind of makes it a little bit more flat than just having the elastic band on. But again, you can use combs if you would like to. But if you know you want to have it on for a couple of days, I suggest um, sewing it down. And you want to watch for your ear. You don't want to poke yourself. And I personally only do the sides. I don't go all the way around. If you have like a 360, uh, the 360 frontal, you can do that. But I don't really do all that. And then I kind of finish it off behind my ear. Now I'm going to... Oh, look at my face breaking out. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to pull through and stop it right there. Now... This is really, really crucial because this is going to make it easy for you to take it down. So I'm going to go in with my scissors and I'm going to cut it right here. Don't cut it too short because you want to be able to tie it and find it. So now that I've found it, what I'm going to do is just make one little knot and then go in and cut it again, but not too short. I'm going to cut it like right there so I can find it when I'm done. And because it's like behind here, it's hidden. That's all you're going to do. So what I'm going to do now is go sew down the other side and then show you guys. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's sewn down. And to show you guys the back. I do need to go in and kind of flat iron it down just to be a little bit more flatter. But this is pretty much what I do whenever I wear any of my units. I like sewing it down, like I said, because it just makes it seem like it's, you know, like really on there. And it's down and flat. And to show you guys up close, this is what I'm working with. See what I mean? Like this is kind of lifted over here. But once I flat it down, it'll look better. But yeah, that's how I sew my wigs down, you guys. Um, let me know if you guys want to show you guys my braiding technique not the best but it does get it pretty flat especially for girls out there with longer hair or thicker hair this really really works for me so now i'm going to show you guys how i take it down all right guys so make sure you go watch part two because if you watch part two you'll see how i revived and kind of recurled my hair but what i'm going to show you now is how i take this off so the reason I said to leave the string somewhat long is because, I mean, one, it's going to be hidden behind all this hair. So all I'm doing is kind of feeling and searching for it. Or you can just kind of pull like this and it'll be visible. Okay, so it was behind my ear. And so now all I do is kind of feel for where it was at. And then boom, you can kind of see the loops that you made to sew it down. See how I just pulled that like that? You can just kind of unravel it. Or the shortcut way is to take scissors. You want to be very, very careful because you don't want to cut your real hair. And just kind of feel and see where that next loop is. Kind of stick it out with your finger and cut the string only. And then once you do that, it really kind of loosens it up and boom, that side is up. And then I just kind of pull the excess string off. So yeah, that is basically it, you guys. 
um i'm so glad i'm kind of like getting the hang of a full-blown technique but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys want me to show you how i do my braid down pattern is this easy was this helpful i love hearing you guys feedback so yeah let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next video